Hello friends, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to see what is operating system. If you are already aware of this concept, please ignore this lecture. Let's see the definition of operating system. Operating system is an interface between user and the computer hardware. As you know, you cannot able to speak directly with the computer because computer can understand only binary language, which means zero and ones. You cannot speak the same language, right? That is where we need someone who can help or convert our requests into binary language. That person name is operating system. Let's see how does it work. If a user directly communicating with the hardware, the request go to the hardware, but your hardware says that, I don't know what you are talking. That is where we need operating system. Now you can send your request to the operating system because operating system can understand what you requested and then it sends to the hardware and it queue the response again to operating system and it passes the response to you where you can understand what is the response. That's how it works. Now let's see what and all operating systems are available in the market. We know Windows and Mac OS as well, IBM AIX, HP UX, Solaris, Linux. So these are the mostly used operating systems in the market. Again, under Linux, we have different operating systems. Those are Red Hat Linux, Ubuntu Linux, Fedora, SUSE, Debian, CentOS, and so on. Like this, we have 200 plus operating systems under Linux flavor because those are derived from the Linux. Now, you may ask that I am more using Windows and OS X but not the Linux. Where exactly does it useful? If that is your question, you need to understand how you access a application from your computer. Let's take a scenario that you are accessing some applications either from your laptop or mobile phone or desktop. If the application runs on your own system, of course you need not to connect to internet. But if the application is not running on your local system, you need to connect to the internet. Internet send the request to the server where application is running. So application take your request, process it and send the request back. Now if you see here, these systems we call it as a client systems and most of the cases we are using client operating systems over here. But whenever it comes to the server operating system, Linux is the widely used server operating system. That's why you might not work with Linux more. But whenever you join in any organization and if you start deploying some applications, that is where you can see the power of Linux. So do we really need a server to install Linux operating system? No, we don't need. Even we can install on our laptop or desktops. Now to learn or to start with Linux, how can I get a system? Now there are different ways you can provision a Linux system. That is, you can directly install Linux OS on your laptop or desktop. For this you need a CD which contains the Linux OS. Install VMware on Windows system and create a VM. You can install VMware software and then you can create a virtual machine on the VMware application. Or else install VirtualBox and create a virtual machine. This is also similar way we need to download VirtualBox then create a virtual machine. And uh, you can provision a Linux VM on cloud. Here I am going to provision a Linux VM on cloud. Because comparatively remaining options, this is the easiest way to start. So I'm going to create a Linux VM on AWS cloud. How to create a Linux server on AWS cloud? We are going to see in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.